is on today guys finally today we're gonna rip the low c 5t 2.0 i've had this thing for a week now and i've yet to even run this thing one time i took it out idled it broke it in and that is it it felt like prom night this whole week so finally oh yeah oh and they say only run half throttle for the first tank or so hopefully i can resist and not pull the trigger too far dave is on his way over he's going to come out and check this thing out here in the studio i told him swing by man you got to see this thing clean how beautiful it is and how big it is so he's on his way over here and i can't wait to see his excitement and his reaction when he sees it because it is just that big guys so while we are waiting on dave to show up i'm going to do a few things to it take the body off i'm going to soak it down in wd-40 because i do not want to rust this thing up i don't want the bolts to rust up so i'm definitely going to wd-40 this just go over a few nuts and bolts make sure everything's nice and tight i'm not going to beat on this thing too hard like i said we have to do the break-in period so what i'm looking for guys i'm just doing simple things like this just going in your hub right here making sure your uh set screw is tight on your hub pin so i get a lot of questions in the comments about wd-40 and how often you should use it on your rc car guys i just pretty much give a good soaking every time i clean the rc car like if you wash it off let it dry off or spray dry get an air nozzle spray everything off get all the water off the best you can and then give it a good soaking of wd-40 and just do that every time you wash and clean your vehicle and it will improve the performance and durability of your rc car and i just don't want my nuts and bolts to rust up here don't want your nuts rusting that's what you don't want so i'm just going to give it a quick coat of wd-40 man also makes your workbench look really good once you wipe it down Ooh, doggy. We're waiting on Dave. He's running a little behind right now. So while we wait, let's talk about the saw blades, guys. I got a lot of uh, requests in the comments about putting pieces of plate right here between the saw blade. A lot of people say put tires or whatever between there. I just wanted to be a saw blade wheel, guys, but I'm about, if you want to do it, I'll do it. Put some pieces of metal in between there like a paddle and we'll go see how it does in the snow. So let me know in the comments if that's something you really want to see and I'll make a video about it. Look, you finally showed up. <laughs> What's going on here, Mikey? You've been remodeling. Finished off the workbench here. Got the new toy out. Man, oh man. Look at this thing. <laughs> <laughs> it's huge and oh, how much does that thing weigh? I think about 40 pounds, I'm not exactly sure. She's that thick. is pretty cool. She's thick, definitely thick. Pretty exciting, bud. Yeah, man. Uh, you been driving it around? I haven't driven it yet. Today is actually gonna be the maiden voyage, so. No! What is going on? Mike! <laughs> Dave just got here. We're gonna take the we're gonna take the five T for a rip. Oh, nice. How you been, man? Yeah, good, man. What's been going on? Oh, uh, just getting ready to rip this thing. I've got a new toy. Yeah. Oh, you got that thing? Hey, you can Dave in the house. Yeah, Dave's here. Whoa, hey, man, how's it going? How you doing, Dave? Good, good. How are you doing? That's the DBXL, isn't it? That thing doesn't run on gas, does it? No, it's electric. Camera. Get this famous guy out of here. So we gotta get back to filming, man. Get out of here, man. <laughs> <laughs> All right, dude. Talk to you later. And have fun. See you, See you later. Wow, Kevin Talbot, that was awesome. You a celebrity, man. I you get to it. talk to him? <laughs> <laughs> so let's get the body on this. Let's get it out here and rip it. I have a bad habit of uh, pulling the cords out of stuff, okay, so. I'll pull it. You pull. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna get this stuff. You, get the, you, you want, get me, want me to get the truck? <laughs> so can you. Oh, can I say sh? <laughs> Yeah, sure, go ahead. That thing's a monster. Look at that thing. All right, Dave. Guess we'll do a systems check here. Check. We got steering, brakes. Got this. Throttle. So let's just give her a prime and a choke. Oh, well, yeah. I'm still learning, Dave. Do so the prime bubble. Bear with me here. Put the choke off now. There she goes. Damn WD 40. <laughs> <laughs> Got some compression. Oh. Sounds like my house burn it, doesn't it? Oh, yeah.
Mind if I put that up there? Oh, not at all. Okay. From the old area. That's what she's for. <laughs> Two thousand. <laughs> <Give her. laughs> she's for sale. <laughs> if anybody's interested out there, drop a comment. <laughs> oh God! Guess right there. Let's see how fast this thing goes. Dave's driving the 5T. You are very trusting. I am. I trust you. Heavier, eh? Like you said, it's like a, it's almost like you're in a little golf cart. Uh, uh, a go kart. Go kart. <laughs> you take it back there okay. before I run it into something, eh? I'll okay. just get brave. How much snow do you think we took out of here so far? Uh, well, judging by the look of this stuff, like it's completely saturated, maybe five pounds. Yeah, I was happy to see you take it over the jump, Mikey. Yeah. I didn't think you would. Had a sack up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We're gonna clean it off, get it back down in the workshop, and I'll catch up you guys in a second. Wicked day, Mikey. All right, guys, please share, like, and subscribe. Hopefully you like the low C5T. Let me know what you think. Thumbs up, hit the subscribe, bell button. Dingy for Dave, dingy for Dave. Dave for Dave and a likey for Mikey. No. I saw somebody wrote that in the comments the other day. Yeah, I've seen that too. Yeah. I'm a big fan. <laughs> Alright, we'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace. Right on.